Shane, what, what were you seeing from their run in the first half that allowed them to, you know, give out those big chunk plays? Um, they, did, they did a good job of, of mixing up inside and outside zone. I think it was honest. Um, forcing us to have to be like perfect in our key reads. You know, like, Sometimes with the motions and the shifts, it kind of, kind of got us out of our out of our focus. And so we had a good job of making, making that focus and reading our keys better. Gene, what do you, what did you guys do in the second half? What did you guys talk about at halftime as far as fixing things? Because they were averaging nine yards running the first half, and not that you guys were able to take that away in the second. I mean, it was nothing more than just us doing our keys, like we get focused on ourselves. Our plan is good, our plan is just almost perfect, but if we don't execute it, bad things happen. So I think for us, it was about getting back to our plan, getting back to our focus, and we're going to make plays in that half. Were there some communication struggles at times, just getting guys lined up when they were overloading different parts of the formation? Um, I mean, yes and no. We had, uh, when they aligned pass, it's kind of harder to get all the calls out, but we were able to kind of you know, figure that out and, and adjust that way. But, um, but definitely, we have to be better at that and communicating and getting what people said. Shane, what made Kyder so effective tonight as a runner, and what was he? Kind of doing that was keeping you guys off balance in some ways. I mean, he's a good running, good running back, good, good runner. Um, I think for, for the most part, it was all us. It was our fault. We, we weren't locked into our keys, and um, we have to get better at that for sure. Shane, do you feel like your defense kind of found its rhythm, or maybe met its standard that you guys hope to play this season in the fourth quarter? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I think we were able to kind of lock in and just focus one play at a time. I think the second half, we were able to kind of just slow down, calm down, and actually just play play fast football. And so. Um, I think that's going to get better. I can see back to one play at a time, one leg, and just keep controlling the ball here. Do you feel like you guys did play, fa play fast football in the first half? The, like there was more hesitancy, or was it something else? Um, I think we're just, we're just not locking to our keys. I think that's all it is. No matter how fast we play, if we're going the wrong direction, we're going to the, off the wrong keys, we can't make plays. And so I think for us, um, we were last thing, but we were able to lock it in and get it back right in the second half. I know it's uh, fresh, but how, how is the locker room after a loss like that? I mean, it's tough. Um, but everything, everybody's kind of, you know, Kind of ready to move on, ready to kind of push forward. Like we have to watch the plays, get better, slow down our mistakes. We have to kind of take that loss in, but make sure that we're ready for the second half. And we get ready for the next game in West Virginia, at West Virginia uh, next week. It's a big time game, another rivalry game. And so, ready for that, get focused for that, and kind of move on. Right it's giving up 200 plus yards over the first I think it's just longer than that. For sure. I guess mean, it's always unacceptable. I mean, um, our defense is going to stop the run, and never give up that many yards. It's, it's bad. So, um, that's, that's never close to the standard. That's not even close to what we do on defense. And so that's always, that's always a, a bad look there, for sure. Anything final for Shane? Thank you, Shane.